right now we are turning our attention to our four-legged friends, Bob and Bella, in fact. And there's been a lot of excitement going around the Expresso offices because we have a sneaky suspicion that Bella might just be pregnant. And Bob has been very quiet about the matter. But to, to settle this, once for all, we called in the doctor, Dr. Rena Cotton, to confirm the speculation of ours. Dr. Rena, how are you doing this morning? Hi, I'm very well, thanks. Cool. We've been very excited the, the past while because we've been noticing a few things, you know, with Bella. She's had some mood changes and, and physiological changes as well. Is she pregnant or not? Okay, what? well, good news and bad news. The good news is she's not pregnant. She's not pregnant. And the bad news is she's not pregnant. She's uh, <laughs> okay. Um, what she's had, she came on heat. Um, small dogs yes. tend to come on heat every six months. It's okay. It's okay. And Shh. after the heat, the hormones that the dog produces are very similar <clears throat> to yes. the hormones of a pregnant dog. So the little dog thinks that she's pregnant. It's a normal process. It dates okay. back to when dogs lived in packs and the alpha female had puppies and the other dogs would uh, produce milk so that they could feed oh. the litter of the alpha female. So all, the hormones are similar. The, the dog's body thinks it's pregnant and mm. some dogs react more strongly to it. They um, have mood changes, their little uh, uh, mammary tissues uh, get enlarged, they can produce milk, their belly can swell up. Yeah. Uh, it can go as far as the dog going into labor. Of really? And having contractions, but obviously there's been no fertilization, so there's yes. no babies that come out. Yeah. Some dogs even uh, believe that they are uh, feeding puppies, so they'll find a surrogate puppy, they can find little stuffed animals yeah. or uh, pair of socks and they will uh, start to treat those inanimate objects as their puppies. Oh man, sorry, this, this is really good and bad news, but we're happy for Bella because she is still young. So she's what she's experiencing what we call a pseudo-pregnancy or right. phantom pregnancy. Right. Is this, uh, humans, uh, women get it as well? Apparently they do. Yeah. Um, they are treated with drugs. We like not to treat it. We like nature to take yeah. its course and as long as they are healthy, uh, they get over it within a few weeks. Mm. And um, we also don't recommend <coughs> breeding mm. dogs when they're too young. All right. So, so let's let's pick up on that thing. point because Bella's a year old now. Yes. What would be the correct age for for a pup to to start breeding? Well, a, a big dog we wait a few for at least two heats. With a small dog, we uh, once they're fully grown and their body can cope with it, okay. uh, we allow them to mate. We obviously. Mm. Uh, definitely recommend responsible breeding. Mm. There are too many dogs around, and uh, uh, if the dog is not a well-bred dog, if you haven't chosen the the parents and looked at their uh, their characteristics, we prefer sterilisation. But yes. a dog like Bella could possibly breed at the next heat, which is about eighteen months. Okay, so almost there, Bells. Don't worry. How long? How long would this the pseudo pregnancy or phantom pregnancy normally last for? It usually lasts about as long as a pregnancy, which is two months. Really? Yes. In that dogs. long. And how should yes. you go about treating it or handling your pup if they went, uh, you know, went on heat and then experiencing this this phantom pregnancy? Uh, we prefer not to treat it. We prefer to yeah. leave it. You know, we don't express the yeah. milk or do anything because that stimulates more milk yeah. production and. Like with a lot of behavioral um, issues, we like to distract them. So keep them happy, keep them walking, yes. and let nature take its course. Right. It'll go then, away by itself. And from your, your part as an owner, you know, just let them be. If they want to, yes. you know, take your pair of socks and, and, and pretend that's their baby, let, them, let do them do that. Just remember, if they didn't mate, they're not pregnant. Okay, all right. So this is just the obvious science to look out for. because, and, and I'm sure if you don't want your dog to get pregnant while on heat, just keep them inside away. Or just how would you would you just well, lock them away, or how would you do it? Yes, keep them away from uh, any males, but remember that they are susceptible to pregnancies for ten days after the bleeding stops. So okay. it's All at right. least ten days. So be responsible. Great stuff. Thank you so you much, Dr. Rena, sense. for coming in, just confirming this sad but happy news. But soon enough, hopefully, we'll have some some babies. Hey, Bobby, what are you saying? Shame. He, I, I don't think he's happy with your news this morning. He was ready to be a dad. <laughs> he got a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh man. So if you want any more info on pseudo pregnancy or phantom pregnancy in dogs, very very interesting topic. You can always log on to expressoshow.com. Get all the info right there. But right now, take a quick ad break. We'll be back after these. Catlejo's got nothing on Bob. Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs. Oh,